Today we will review this deck of Tenio Hyper ESP cards. If you like ESP tricks or experiments, I would like to encourage you also to subscribe to my channel because I like ESP tricks as well and I will focus on them in the future. So I will film a lot of them together with explanations. So I think it might be interesting for you as well. So subscribe if you like ESP experiments and now we will just continue with review. You receive the deck in this bigger box. It is completely in Japanese. There are only few English sentences. For example, here you can download English instructions from the internet. See the included Japanese instructions for details. So this is the box. And then we receive this black envelope, which is very cool for storing uh, predictions. And then we receive this Tenyo Magic News. It's just about new Tenyo products, so some advertisement. And then finally we receive also the instructions. They are in Japanese, but you can download the English version as well. So we can see there are some instructions for few tricks you can do with this deck as well. And you will download English instructions. They are only text instructions in English in PDF and the illustrations are available only in this printed form. The box is very simple. It says ESP cards on the front. Here we have all ESP symbols together with picture of a brain. And it says test your extrasensory perception. Nothing on sides. And from the back we have all ESP symbols again. And here it says created and manufactured by Tenyo Japan. And that's pretty much it for the tag case. Let's open it and look at cards inside. Inside we will find several gimmick cards, which is very nice. Here we have, for example, five double back cards, as you can see. And then we have five double face cards with same symbol. So one, two, three, four, five double facers with same symbol. And the last gimmick card is this one. It is again double face card, this time with different symbols. Here we have normal ESP cards, so as you know all ESP decks has five circles, five crosses, five wavy lines, five squares and finally five stars. These cards are bridge sized, it means they are a bit smaller than standard deck of poker sized playing cards. We can compare it for example to this card which is a standard poker size and you can see they are really a bit smaller. This deck is also marked so you should be able to recognize any card just from behind. So let's say this one over here, this one looks like a cross and it is and this one, this looks like a cross again and it is so something else uh, maybe this one this looks like a circle and it is i will not reveal the marking system maybe you are able to see it on camera anyway but i would say it is very clever and very well hidden so i think uh, this deck can be examined by spectators as well there is just one thing i would say about the marking system it works better from a distance so the markings are visible better when you look from some distance than when you look more closely. So this would be it for this review. Maybe a few words about the quality. There is no finish on cards. It feels a bit plasticky, but I think it's okay for ESP experiments. So overall, I think it's a good deck. If you like ESP experiments, you should definitely check it out. I hope you like the review. If yes, please give thumbs up. Thank you for attention. See you next time.